I was, I was very happy when you were elected because I thought it was a great step in a, in a good direction. And then you lost me mm. because it felt like you were saying to people like me mm. that I was too old and didn't do enough oh, no. to make... Well, that's what it sounded like. Mm. And so that has bothered me because I feel like... I love young people. I was once one. <laughs> <laughs> but you're on my shoulders. Absolutely. And Absolutely. we have carried this fight. People like, you know, mm -hmm. Nancy Pelosi, who was the only chick in the room for years, mm -hmm. and, the fi and Madame Feinstein, who was the only chick in the room for years and had to deal with all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. And to sort of hear... <clears throat> It sound like you were dismissing mm. us mm. bothered the hell out of me. Of course. And she's been very yeah. upset about it. And I've been very yeah. upset yeah. about it for a, a long time. So mm -hmm. do you think maybe they misunderstood what you were saying? Did I misunderstand what you were saying? Because no. I read the blurb in the on the website, so mm -hmm. maybe you can no, clarify. No, of course, it and I am, um, and I appreciate you sharing that with me because I think. Well, I figured everybody else probably already. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, I appreciate you sharing that with me, and I think that that's something that we have to model more in politics. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I work very closely with my sister Rashida to leave, and one of the things that she says is that we're not s divided; we are disconnected, and the way that we connect is by sharing honestly our takes with each other. But that being said, um, first of all, I think. There's a lot of incentive to blow up um, disagreements in the party as like huge fights um, because I think it's important for us all to recognize, and we do this in our rallies, to recognize the people who have been in this fight to allow us to have this window mm -hmm. as we do right now. You know, Nancy Pelosi. That's Mama Bear of the Democratic Party. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And, um, but also, also women like Barbara Lee, yeah. Jan Schakowsky, yeah. Maxine Waters, yeah. um, my chairman, Elijah Cummings, mm -hmm. may he rest in, in peace um, and in power. You know, he, especially, uh, I sat on his committee in the Oversight mm -hmm. Committee, and he did so much to center us and uplift us. Mm -hmm. And that is so unusual be in a place that revolves around seniority. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's important to say that, but also to say that um, part of, I think, youth and culture, it's always been seen and cast as rebellious, but ultimately uh, we are not a moment that is disconnected mm -hmm. from our past. Mm -hmm. We are part of a long movement okay. of ancestors and elders that we should okay. always acknowledge. Cool, and, and so my, my next, the next thing I have to ask you now, mm -hmm. you know, are you a Democrat? Are you, like, an African-American? Do you know what I mean? When people say African-American, we say, no, no, I'm an American. Don't hyphenate it. Mm. Are you a Democrat? T help me understand, because it's the same issue I have with Bernie. Mm. You know, I, I understand that there are a lot of places people can live in this party. Mm -hmm. But I feel like you can't... You must come in as you want me to see you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you must come in up front. Yeah. So are you... Ex explain what kind of Democrat you are. That's so, what I'm asking. I'm a, so I am a Democrat. Okay. And I ran as a Democrat. I'm, I am the Democratic representative of New York's 14th Congressional District. Um, I do think in this time and in this moment, um, we've had this question of what does that mean? Mm -hmm. What does it mean to be a Democrat? Or a Democratic Wait, Socialist. Can I interject, though? Yeah. You right. said you don't believe that um, you would be in the same party as Joe Biden mm -hmm. if this were Europe. Mm -hmm. So I think what Whoopi's trying to say is it doesn't seem like there's a lot of unification. Yes, mm -hmm. and I think it, it, it goes to that question, mm -hmm. because um, in in other countries, there are different parties where you break up what that actually means. There are some Democrats that are very pro-business, very pro-Wall Street. Um, they advance causes of big pharma. And then there are other Democrats that don't take corporate money, mm -hmm. that, um, that fight for working families, for a living wage, for Medicare for all. And I think in that, I want to clarify that um, I am a grassroots candidate that does not accept corporate or lobbyist funds, that I fight for working families, a living wage, Medicare for all, mass, you know, de ending our system of mass incarceration and making sure that we have humanity at our border.